Production. Good evening, gentlemen. It is your boy, Sirius. Welcome to today's stream. I know it's been a while, but unfortunately, you know, being a adult and all that shit, I got to handle some adult responsibilities. So that's why I've been gone for a while, you know, because unfortunately, I have to go outside and touch grass and make sure that things in the real world is going according to plan. But things have been going good so far. So now I have time to do a stream. And I believe this is a important stream as well. Because I don't think not too many people are talking about this type of situation. When it comes to being a cog in the machine. Right, and we all we all know what the term is called, but do you really understand what it means? At least when it comes to Western society in 2023, that's the big question. Okay, I do miss you guys. Don't get me wrong, I really do. I tried to do streams last week, 
but there's technical difficulties or I did not have enough time. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Like, I'm sure you guys can understand. But there's going to be something that I believe is going to be profound in this conversation today because I have the one, the only hammer hand to help elaborate on this topic that I'm going to have for you guys today. But I see you guys are here. Let me go ahead and quickly shout shout you guys out before we begin. Uh, I see Hanak, the Barrera, Devastator, Sacred Y, Greeks United, of course, Cesspool. And if you guys want to support your boy Sir Yudas, there's a link, cash app slash Sir Yudas, or if you guys want to donate to scam tube because i want to take 50 percent now fucking assholes um chaos for you green skin single town bachelor uh i think i forgot everybody else but hey if i miss you my bad but we're gonna keep going with the show because i only have one hour before your boy chronic joins as well so, I'm going to add the one, the only, Hammerhand. What's going on, Hammerhand? What's up, good man? How you doing? Man, life has been uppercutting me in the face <laughs> for the last <laughs> month. Hey, man, shout out to all them cogs in the machine in the chat there. <laughs> you, honestly, you're not wrong when you put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, see, I needed I I needed to talk to you about this because honestly, I believe you have the most knowledge and experience on this topic. Uh -oh. Um, so when it comes to being a cog in a machine or a spoke in the wheel, when uh, uh today's society in 2023 in this gynocentric or you want to you want to call it matriarch matriarch society where Pretty much women, they benefit on both fronts on being equal, but also want to be treated as a lady. Mm -hmm. They freak out so much when men are saying, I want to focus on me now, right? Because in order for a spoke on a wheel to work, in order for a cog in a machine to work, they have to abide by the, how do I explain it? Well, you have to fulfill your role, right? Yeah, you have to fulfill your role. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah. And when somebody wants to malfunction and not want to fulfill their role anymore, the entire the the entire machine or the 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 the, the spoke in the wheel falls off and it's not even functional anymore. And society overall they see this is why chat this is why society overall they wants to they, they want to hamper down on men going their own way because men going their own way it defeats the purpose of the gynocentric system well Everybody i think it de does. it defeats, it defeats all of those all purposes of right yes and a lot of and, and, and once again I, I know a lot of people watching my channel you guys understand but this is for future viewers that wants to view my channel there's a reason why society wants to go crazy on men that say, hey, I don't want to do what you want me to do anymore. Because guess what? Society relies on men doing what they're supposed to do in order to survive. They don't rely on women. But they don't rely now, on women. What are you supposed to do? Right? That's just something that you've been programmed with. What are you supposed to do? In, in, in the sense of... In, well, in what, the sense what these of what? folks are talking about, right? I mean, everything is breaking down and society is starting to decay. Western society in particular is starting to decay. Why? Now, you bring in all of this shit, all of this stuff that destroys your base in religion. It destroys your base in patriarchy. It destroys the nuclear family. And then when it's all gone, they want to point the finger at you. 
and say, well, you should have fought us harder, man. <laughs> Which is crazy. See, chat, with my, let's just say that I'm very close to 30, right? I'm not old, but I lived <clears throat> enough in my life that I can have a say of what's going on. Women, their entire existence is based on double standards or or hypocrisy. It, that's that's literally what it is. They, <laughs> the, and I, I know you guys already know, but they say one thing and do another. And when it doesn't go their way, they say that it wasn't their idea and blame you for their own fuck-ups. So... When it comes to that point, right? Are they really surprised that men are saying, you know what? Leave me alone. I don't want to deal with this anymore. And Hammerhand, surprisingly, I know somebody that watches your channel. Uh oh. Uh oh. I know somebody that watches your channel. I didn't say anything. <laughs> but don't 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 clue don't clue nobody in. Hey, you know that's yeah. an all right, fella, right there. You know, you start diming yourself out, man. Somebody will stab you in the face. Yeah, he, he was explaining to me uh, what you were, you know, what you were talking about. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. You know, this is some interesting information. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I never thought about that. <laughs> man, this is this is some revelation. <laughs> yeah, I had but, somebody tell me about that. They said they were sitting in a bar like in uh, New England, somewhere in New England, I guess it was, if I'm getting that right. And they said uh, some dude just started playing his phone and one of my videos was playing on the phone. And I'm like, man, that's it's just so good that our messages are getting out there. But at the same time, we're we're being pushed to the back of the queue. When we developed the philosophies, we developed everything that we talk about. And I'm not the first one to do it. You know, I'm like second gen. So, and, and then ho holes are being pushed in front of us. Exactly. And once again, I try to tell people all the time, like, we, like, people around my age, we, we weren't the first ones to come up with the revelation that, hey, you know what? Women having uncontrolled freedom, uncontrolled hypergamy is a bad idea. No, it goes from, Gen X, boomers, all the way back to 2,000 years ago, okay, when Jesus was around. They explain to the detail that, hey, you know what? Women, they need to be put in check because this is what's happening right now in the United States. Look, look what's happening right Gen – gentlemen, you already know what's happening right now in the West. It is out of control well look man think about how you're being lied to in so many different ways i mean every time you turn your head in, in another direction a shade of a degree you're being lied to about something now take this this new this shit that went on over there in maui right where maui burns to the ground the yeah. deadliest fire in u.s history what the fuck are you talking about it's in the middle of the pacific ocean i heard that oprah uh, winfrey has some property over there what well, all of the millionaires' homes were were spared, bro. <laughs> you know, you know, all the millionaires' homes were spared. None of them got burned out. So but you know, it, Hawaii has this really weird thing with the way that tribal land is passed down, and it's real loose too. So when you see something like this happen, can you say that it was all all natural, or can you say that somebody's trying to burn them out so that they can lay claim to their lands? That too. And let's say hypothetically the rich people, one of their houses did get touched. That's a that's a insurance <clears throat> claim right there. I mean, I suppose, but I don't think that they want any of that other shit. Mark Zuckerberg just acquired a bunch of land over there, and he was held up for years trying to get that land because of the way that they pass titles and deeds and the way that they gift land to other people. And he had to go through all kinds of shit to get these Hawaiians to give up their land. Agreed. I, honestly, honestly, I truly don't believe because based on what I've read, it, 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 
there's a 90 something percent chance that that was not a coincidence. Well, not 90, let's say 90 percent chance that was not a coincidence. You know, I, I don't know. All I know is that it seems a little suspicious to me. And, you know, it just it is what it is. Everything is suspicious nowadays. Oh, I completely agree. It is getting out of control. And on that point, when it comes to the situation that's happening across the country with a bunch of women, right? A bunch of women right now, they are truly doing their best to say, hey, you know, men, there are the worst thing that happened since, I don't know, I, I don't want to do a comparison because I, I could cancel. But it, it, w- men are so bad right now. See, I believe that is just desperation in 2023 right now. Because, uh, you know, it's just people c- crying and bitching and moaning about what they don't have. And they don't realize, they really don't realize how entitled they are to think that you can sit there and complain that people aren't doing anything. Nobody nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes anybody anything. That's the whole point of females having rights. If you don't want your rights, get together with your fellow broads, destroy no-fault divorce, put it away, eliminate child courts, and I, I can I can promise you, I can promise you, I probably wouldn't be one of them, but I can promise you a million men will go back to the gym and get fit and then they will start taking care of some woman somewhere because uh, they know at the end of the day, if they decide to jet or if the woman decides to jet, let's just say it doesn't work out. What's going to happen to them? Nothing. They, they end up with some hurt feelings. You know, it could be a little more complicated than that. You might have to give her a couple of your cookies, a few dozen donuts or something. But you're not walking away losing a decade, losing 20 years, losing the best years of your life. Because somebody was unhappy today and just wanted to refer to you as a starter marriage. So that's why I'm the one that got the dirty look when I say silence is compliance. It, it kind of is, to be honest with you. I mean, look, that's the same game that they play, right? Yeah. The political is personal. It's the same thing. But if they're doing this stuff and you're not doing it and you say oh, you hate this shit, you can't stand the way things are. But if you dummy up, You can't even get on the computer and make a fucking video. You know, I mean, if you dummy up, you're kind of you're kind of co-signing what's going on. Kind of. Agreed. I I agree. Million percent. This is why I'm not a fan of the the chat thoughts and all that shit talking about. Oh, you know. Oh, you know, I'm I'm not like those other girls. What are you talking about? But all of them are like that. Yeah, I know. I know. AWOL, right? But as soon as you bring the, hey, maybe you should advocate on taking away uh, alimony and child support or taking away uh, uh, no-fault divorce and all that stuff. Well, you see that nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change, right? Look at the reaction that the elimination of lifetime pay-for-your-bitch got in Florida. I mean, the uh, thousands of hoes talking about how they're going <laughs> to I'm gonna go vote for Democrats now because they're going to give me what I want. And they no matter what they say, they want you to be a slave, accept it, turn your back to the reality of what that means and just keep sticking your feet in the fucking meat grinder. That's what they want you to do. And I'm not doing it no more. This is why I tell people, hey. Don't don't fall for that trap thought bullshit. All right, they can wear the most. Uh, how you say? They can conceal themselves as much as possible, clothing, and cook you a few meals, and whisper you those 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 sweet nothings in your ear about how they're they're uh, uh how you say they're they're the pure they're the well they're yeah the, 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 they're trad thing. right but they're not trad. Yes, not because trad. they 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 always have that option to just fuck you over. Always have that option, and a lot of young men they don't understand. Well, what like, do we call it, man? We call it incentivization. They're incentivized yeah. not to stay married. 
If they stay married, they have to deal with hard times. If they stay married, they've got to split all of the assets, all of the resources. If they stay married, you know, they're going to have to put some fucking work into actually knowing the person that they're married to, loving that person, trying to uplift that person. That's not a one-way street, man. It's not a one-way street, but they all think that it is. Agreed. They really... Okay, see, and this is why... I, okay, uh, based on your experience, Hammerhead, would it be safe to say that Marriage is an outdated concept in 2023. Uh, yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. You have you have one side of that marital contract. We, we, we don't even talk about the fucking contract itself, but you have one side of the marital contract that is just dug in and they're saying, we're not going to give up our gibs. We're going to take your kids from you. We're going to take you to fucking court. We're going to ruin your life. Look, I wouldn't have a problem getting to know me a lady friend. I wouldn't have a problem not being a monk tomorrow if those laws weren't in place. But the fact is, is that they are in place. So I chose. I made a choice. It's a suck ass choice. You know, but like I always say, if you have a choice between a shit sandwich and a soggy shit sandwich, give me the shit sandwich. <laughs> and see, and here's the here's the crazy part when it comes to that situation, right? When it comes to marriage, right? I truly believe that there's there's con cognitive dissonance when it comes to that situation because still in 2023, whether okay, I don't know how to explain it. I'm sure a lot of them know why men are not getting married, but a lot of them they're gullible or they just don't know why men are not getting married. I but think that altogether, a lot of them go 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 go. I'm, I'm just saying altogether they. I, I, I believe that whether they know or they don't know, they don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah I won't disagree care. with you on that. Well, I, what, I what do you disagree. mean by that? I don't disagree with you on that oh, at all. Don't disagree. I thought don't disagree. don't I disagree. No, no, no. I don't disagree with you on that at all. Let's just say that they're they're aware of the child court, which is the child the child trafficking mill. Let's just say that they're aware of the horrors of divorce. Let's just say that they're aware that men stand about a 20% chance of picking up anybody worth a shit from the word go. Let's say that they know all of that. They know the cultural indemnity. They know everything. They still don't care. They don't give a shit. They don't look at you as anything other than a car, you know, or a purse, an accoutrement, some thing to go with some other thing. That's the way that you're looked at, man, as a man. See, and here's a here's a here's a big thing I want to ask you because I got to a little conversation with uh, one of my cousins the last week. Uh oh, uh, male cousin. I mean, he doesn't understand that women can be sympathetic, but they cannot be empathetic. I, I don't think he, that they can be empathetic under a system that rewards them for being cutthroats and sharks. Exactly. I'm like, they can be sympathetic. Like, they don't get me wrong. They can feel sorry at the moment. They can give you some little, oh, it's okay, baby, or blah, 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 try to comfort you. But empathetic, try to be in someone else's shoes. Yeah, but I think they I have believe... to have some kind of some some kind of internal transformation. And no, I don't mean rearranging their guts. I mean that there has to be some kind of an internal strife, a struggle with who they are at their core. You know, you got to be able to put yourself in the place of the person that you're persecuting. And so few people are able to do that. You know, you'll see women that wake up from time to time and their 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 tone changes. Um, you actually I don't I'm not trying to give credit where it's not necessarily due, but you can see that in Hannah Davis. Her whole fucking game has changed up. So, you know, she's risking everything by going down the road that she's on now. I don't, I'm going to have to look up who Hannah Davis is. I don't know who she Just is. Just pearly things. Oh, that bitch? Okay. Um, yeah, that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, my thing is, this is why I preach 
nonstop, 24-7. I'm sure you can agree, Hammer Hand, that do <clears throat> not pillow talk. Do not show any fucking emotion or weakness around women if you're, if you're around it. Unfortunately, it doesn't even have to be a girl that you're talking to. It can be around your sister, your female cousin, your auntie. Hell, the closest you can probably show a little bit of emotion to is your mother. Maybe. Maybe. But, and it, it would still fucking make her nauseated because there's an expectation yeah. that you're supposed to be a fucking rock. The rock of Gibraltar. That's what you're supposed to be. And they don't understand why they're not supposed to be that with the exact same set of rights and then some. Exactly. Because how do I know this chat? Because... My mom, she is definitely on that coddle bullshit with one of her nieces, right? Mm. But when it comes to her sons, eh, like she has no worry whatsoever. Like she, <laughs> like even if she doesn't hear from us for like weeks or months or hell, sometimes even even years, nah, yeah. no worry. That's a strange thing, isn't it? I mean, understand when you sit down and you think about that and you understand that these people are supposed to love you, they're supposed to care about you, and you realize the whole time it was just you that thought that. The rest of them don't think that. They don't they don't think that at all. Right, and don't get me wrong, I'm sure I will get 90% I will say unconditional love from my mother, right? She still expects me to be a man. Like, <clears throat> you get know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. Yeah, I know like, exactly what you're talking about. It, it, there's no different expectation when it comes to mothers or sisters, you know, female cousins. It, the, the expectation is all the same. Some of them are just not quite as indoctrinated, and some of them are totally totally hopelessly indoctrinated and they have no idea what that means they don't realize it they haven't broken out of the cocoon yet they don't whatsoever and once i watch you know sandman's channel your channel chronic's channel you know before i even started to make any type of content i'm like whoa it, it's really a wall it's really all women are like that Sure, sure. You know, and you, you look, you've got mouth breathers that are out here in this in this territory right now around MGTOW and Monk and Red Pill that are trying to tell you, nah, Walt. And I was, how could it possibly be that way when you still have all of these laws in place that enable a ah, Walt? It makes no sense. Makes no sense whatsoever. Like, in fact, there were numerous cases where the grandma went after the 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 grandchildren or the mom goes after the children for not taking care of them. And they, and she takes them to court. She takes them to court. Huh? Like what? Like, hold up. <laughs> like, wait, like, wait a minute. Like, why, how, why am I obligated? You know, at least, at least in the United States, why am I obligated to take care of you? Especially if, if for some reason, let's say they had a bad relationship with the mother or a bad relationship with the grandmother, why am I the person that's getting sued or be taken to court and being obligated to take care of this person? Well, um, because they expect it of you. Exactly. You know, I mean, in, in your position, I think you would know this better than a lot of people. The, the term son husband originated in your community. Yeah, unfortunately. You know, I, I've seen it often. So they they know what they're doing. Crippling those kids when they're young, uh, stripping their masculinity off of them, and then lying to them all the way through life. When they get old and decrepit, somebody will be there to see them into the box so that they don't have to struggle. A woman's whole life is about taking struggle out of her life. Like... The only thing that had an issue with uncles or or grand grandfathers or w whatever it is is I don't stop by once in a while. I'm like, okay, cool. 
Yeah, I've been busy. That's that's my fault. But when it comes to grandmothers or aunties or sisters or whatever it is, mm -hmm. supposedly I am they're entitled to my attention at least a few times a week. I'm like, hold on, like I got my own life, I got a job. Like, what are you talking? What? Yeah, a few times is hard, man. Even for kids. Right. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, why am I obligated to you? I'm not even that committed to the girl that I'm fucking. <laughs> well, you know, I, I I don't blame you on that uh, on I'm that like, front. What are you talking about? <clears throat> don't blame you, but you know how it is, man. I mean, look, all of all of the decent men. And it doesn't matter what stripe you're from, black, white, Asian, it doesn't make a difference. All of the decent men pretty much have been run out of all of these communities. Women are only sampling the men that have chosen to stay. That's why they have a terrible opinion of men. Exactly, which why I believe by 2030 is going to be... Okay, I believe by 2030 the sons or the next generation of men they're going to have a very hard time because there's going to be a lot of single women out there it, it doesn't matter if they're even family they want they crave male attention that's why i believe what's going to happen yeah, i believe gonna, they're really <laughs> it ain't gonna be my problem yeah yeah no no it's not gonna be our problem but what, what i predict is they're definitely going to try their best to get to grab as it doesn't matter where the male attention is coming from as long as male attention. No, man. Look, how many how many thousands and thousands and thousands of examples do you see when you decide to partake of the intranet, you know, the interwebs of of women when they can't get positive affirming attention, they'll go get negative, horrifying, destructive attention because it's something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Every single time every single time until there's some kind of awakening or they're just completely burned out on dealing with other people. That's the only time that it stops. Exactly. And chat, I'm not saying don't visit your family. I'm not saying to keep like not keep in touch. Of course, keep in touch with your family, but as soon as it becomes an entitlement, that's when shit gets fucking weird. Okay. Like, you're a full-ass adult, and you got your own shit to deal with, and then they're here getting mad at you that you're you're dealing with your own responsibilities and shit. That, that, that's when it gets weird. Right on. <laughs> yes, sir. And, I mean... Oh, what's up, hey, man? Oh, nothing, bro. I was just going to say shout out to that chat, man. See all of oh. them in there. 67 sets of eyeballs right now. Yeah, I'm surprised I got 67 views, especially I've been gone for like almost a month. Bro, they want to hear from you, man. That bag of bones is important. They want to hear from you. <laughs> but, chat, believe me, I'm telling you right now, when it comes to this type of situation that's happening 2023, you need to be very careful because there's more and more cases out there of women. They are downright how you say jaded and you don't even have to know the woman she just out there trying to cause some chaos trying to ruin a man's life because of her own personal problems man i just post about it in my uh, community chat right britney spears 41 years old divorces in a year from some 26 year old come 26. on now 26 bro 26 Britney fucking Spears. Britney Spears. <laughs> I don't even know what was to he, say about that. Was he trying to get the bag? I don't know. You know, I don't know who the guy is, uh, but this is what you see time and time and time again. These folks have a very small circle of people. N look, normal women have a small circle of men that they will choose from. So a fucking mega star with with five hundred million dollars in the bank, it, it's got to be absurdly small. And they all know each other, you know. So uh, you, she's not going to run out into Nebraska and pick some old boy out the cornfield. 
<laughs> that, that is true, but 26... Okay, she knew what the fuck she was doing. Okay, of course. Give me a break. Well, maybe now, maybe maybe she's she's fucking rattled. I mean, there's something really wrong with her. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that one. All right, but chat, I'm gonna proclaim right now, and I'm sure majority of you guys will agree. Marriage is dead. Dating is dead. All that shit is fucking dead. So. <clears throat> If you're really trying to go out through what society believing that, oh, I can find the one. Oh, no, she's going to be the one for me. Sure, you can take that risk. But I'm telling you right now, when it comes to probability, it's not going to end well. It's not going to end well for you. I mean, who? Look, I, I understand the want to get busy. I think every, every man, every normal man, you know, has the idea that they want to try that out. But at what cost? What are you willing to sacrifice? Are you sure that this shit is not going to go sideways? You can't be sure. And I think that that's part of the problem out here with this entire system is to kind of keep fellas in a position where they're constantly on edge and nervy. And I don't want to be that. So I just opted out. See you later. Yeah, which why we always say it's not the fact that if she will divorce you, it's the fact that she has the capability to do it at any time. Exactly, Mundo. You know, it's not to say that every woman out there that you're going to disagree with is even aware of this, but on a base level, every single one of them that's in some kind of relationship that they think is going somewhere, they're already being talked to about what ifs divorce what if you got kids you can get that bag they already know this men men are fucking potatoes they don't know anything about that they just want to be loved and that need and want for them to be loved leads them down that primrose path exactly and this is why our, our channels exist and this is why our channels are attacked because we're the ones that are opening up the young men's eyes. Uh, I don't know how young, but I heard a lot of phrases from teenagers. Um, oh, TikTok? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That people from the Manosphere uses. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. We, we're definitely having some influence. And I, I, I'm telling you right now, they are not liking us to the point where, right? We got people that are in powerful positions that want to deem channels like ours as very bad extremists. Yeah, they, you look, man, you can say what you want to say. There's nothing extreme about telling men to get their shit together and avoid usury. When men start to take it to heart, that's where it becomes a problem. Your whole system, this entire reality depends on the usury of men. It doesn't depend on the usury of anybody else. Now, everybody, every person gets used in some way, shape, or form. If you're making minimum wage or if you're making a billion dollars a day, every person gets used in some way, shape, or form. But when you start actively ducking it, yeah, that, that's a problem for the people who, who originated and created this system. Agreed. And why do you think, Chad? Why do you think, Chad, when feminism came about, literally 99.99999% of male groups were decimated? There's only a very small percentage of male groups left. Uh, I wouldn't really call the manosphere a male group or whatever, but you, you know what I'm talking about. As, as soon as a group of men come together to discuss ideas, society and women, they want to come and try to split that shit apart but sure they can have all women gyms they can have all women clubs they, they just have... use women to as a wedge to get down here on this lower level and split any groups that are accumulating you know the the last real great threat to these people that hold that kind of power especially in the western world was white european men 
and they're fucking finished. They're finished. Yeah, to be fair, yeah, you got the European man got decimated. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> they're they're finished, bro. You know, I mean, it's it's gonna take it's gonna take draconian measures to wake men up, to get men to pick up some of the slack, you know, over the last, you know, 70, 80 years. And I, I don't mean work slack. I don't mean that they're not putting in enough effort. I'm trying to word it in a way that's not going to get you flagged. Yeah, you know, yeah. but you know what I'm talking about. It's going to take huge, huge oppression to wake men up where they operate in unison. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, it's starting to happen right now, but they're doing their best to try to break us apart. Well, it is happening. It, it is happening, whether they want to believe that or not. How far it goes, that's a different story. That's why, see, chat, this is why I say uh, to revert back to the previous conversation. Women are capable <clears throat> of sympathy. They are not capable of empathy. Okay. If you are a new viewer, I'm letting you know right now. Let me repeat it one more time. They're capable of sympathy, but they are not capable of empathy. Okay? No matter what happens to men on a wide scale in society, if it does not affect a woman directly, they don't give a fuck. They don't. But as soon as it affects them directly, right? They don't they're not worried about what the man is going through or what type of situation the man is. No, they're always talking about me, me, myself, and I, what I need, what I want, what I'm going through. That's what you guys need to understand about the female nature. And once again, it doesn't how to how do I explain it? It shouldn't be that serious, but you need to take that to account because I'm sure Ham and Ham will agree. Female nature is inherently narcissistic. It's inherently narcissistic. Like they worry about what's best for them. Sure. Sure. I mean, you think about it now. Think about it. Since society, society as you know it, our culture as you know it, has been put on autopilot. They don't need you, right? Yeah. They don't. They don't need you. Uh, they had several factors that have converged on them. I'll never, ever, ever say that women aren't part of a psyop too. You know, they're giving and receiving, both of them, both of them. But these folks have had tremendous pressures applied to them to go down the road that they went down. And the only way to compel them to do that, it's the same way, it's the same way that feds entered the black communities and said, we can help y'all out, man. All you look, I see that you need some money, right? You need some clothes for your kids, you need a little more food. Just get rid of the men and we'll support you. Well, it was the same thing with feminism. Same thing with white feminism. You know, when people say that there's a black feminism and a white feminism, uh, I tend to to disagree with their ideas on that, but I wholeheartedly agree that culturally it's split along culture lines. Well, that was crazy when the black women joined the white women in that feminist march. In the well, 19th. they they started it with the Great Society's shit and the Civil Rights March, and it was a perfect perfect storm. And then all of them white motherfuckers jumped in there. They jumped in there. They co-opted it. They took it over, and they destroyed the species. I already know feds were involved. Like they're, of they're, course they were. Of course they were. <laughs> that was found. No it was founded by the CIA. It was founded by the people that write the checks for all of the promises that they can't make. It was founded by them motherfuckers. Said, we got fifty percent of people that can't. We can't tax. How can we tax them? And they sat down and figured out how to tax them, how to pit them against us, and it worked. And it's still working. Because. Before all that, all that stuff that was happening, I think it was 80 something percent of, of black men and women, they were married. Hey, like 80 something. Yeah, percent. yeah, it was it was close to 80 percent, like 79 percent, something like that. Uh, chronics in the bottom of your chat, brother. 
Hold up. You just a a, a Venti Honeypot tried to send me CP today. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me about that. Ain't that, that some crazy. fucking shit? That is amazing. That's something. Look, let's address that while we're on here, man. Gentlemen, if you want to inject yourself into other people's YouTube drama, by all means, you know, go ahead, but be careful. Be careful because these people are creating sock accounts, they're creating puppets, they're creating all kinds of shit out there to try to get you to bite down on something that is very illegal. And at the same time, they don't rec I don't think that they recognize that offering this shit is a crime. It's a crime. It doesn't matter if it's fake. It's a crime. The distributing that type of stuff, that's federal. That, that's that's. Well, that's it goes federal. against COPPA, man. I mean, what, what did YouTube lost? What seven hundred million dollars in fines because they weren't enforcing COPPA? Right. And that was just a couple of years ago. So these stupid holes are out here trying to drum up all of this shit because they don't like the fact that you're a man and that you have an opinion. It is the worst. Like, and once again, a scorned woman, they're not going to hesitate. They're not going to hesitate to try to get you back. No, they'll sink themselves just to get you. So Exactly. Uh, speaking of that, uh, I think you're the one that shared the story. Or was it somebody else? Uh, there was a, a, a then 17-year-old girl that went, 100 miles per hour and killed her ex-boyfriend and her friend like rammed and in, rammed into the wall like oh i, I don't know me. nothing about that one you know, I, I, I i i i can share the story after this but she literally went 100 miles per hour 100 miles per hour well full speed ahead and it was caught on video well it's like, too bad it was going very fast and too she bad, ran too bad. her ex-boyfriend and her friend against the wall, killing them instantly. They were outside the car? They were walking, and she caught oh. them. And then she just like, I have a need for speed. And then she went 100 miles per hour, and I'm assuming she was attending suicide as well. well. And she ran straight into the wall, Taking out her ex boyfriend and her friend with, uh, like, she killed two people, and I'm assuming she was trying to eat herself as well. But she yeah. lived, of course. <laughs> it's, it's like the drunk that always lives in the drunk driving accident, you know. But luckily, the judge wasn't some freaking leftist, so she was guilty of all charges. Good. I mean, two people are fucking dead. So, you know. And it was caught on video, so you can't really deny it. Yeah, motherfuckers try to deny everything, man. <laughs> it is insane, but that, that's, that's what I'm talking about, gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. When it comes to today's situation, when it comes to Men dealing with a lot of nonsense. Young men. Well, I mean by young, I mean like, let's say 18 to 24. They're struggling. Oh, look. Oh, oh, what's up? Now, listen to this. Now, I just went and looked this up. She did. She did hit these two people and killed them. She was only charged with felonious assault and aggravated vehicular assault. That's was, what she was charged with, bro. I thought it was vehic vehicular homicide. Nope. What? <laughs> this just came out a couple of days ago, man. Yeah. It's from a, a July 2022 crash. She didn't even get homicide charges. And the women want to claim that they're oppressed. That's why you just leave them to the fucking curb. Go buy some G.I. Joes or comic books, man. Go surfing. Go buy a boom box. Go live out the fucking youth that you never got. Fuck these bitches. Leave them to the curb, man, because they're all they're never going to be treated the same way that you would be treated in that situation. Women want to claim that they're oppressed. Think about that, chat. She was caught in 4K on camera. You, you can look it up. You can look it up. 
No, I just looked it up, man. She she only had four counts of felonious assault and aggravated uh, aggravated assault. Oh, no, no, no. I was talking about the actual video. Oh no, I didn't watch the video. I no, yeah. I don't. I don't think I want to watch people expire. She, you know. She didn't, yeah, well, yeah, but like she didn't try to slow down. She didn't try to swerve. She was full speed ahead. Yeah, no doubt, she man. She didn't even get vehicular homicide. Nope. Wow. See, this is what I'm talking. And then they act shocked that men are walking away. I don't know. <laughs> like <laughs> they act all confused that men are not men are like, fuck this. Like, come on. Come on. You telling me that a scorned female that I probably messed with a few years ago can just be like, Hey, hey, guess what? I got a whole SUV. I'm about to crush you in this wall now. And I'm only going to get 15 years. You know, I mean, my man in, in your super chat said it the best, right? Close the sentencing gap. But you can't because if you put all of the birthing persons in prison for the, the amount of time you put us in prison, the species going to die faster. <sighs> so annoying, bro. So annoying. Yeah, it's worse than so that annoying. to me, man. That's what I just, you know, look, I just uh I just stopped engaging with all of this fucking madness. I, I don't want to jump through nobody's hoops anymore. I don't want to fuck around with these people anymore. I won't do none of that. So I decided that I'm just gonna go ahead and divorce myself from all of this shit. I'm gonna spend every day, all day, enjoying the things that I like. And I don't have to give anybody an explanation why. But see, that's the sad part, right? How are you going to explain this? Oh, how, like what, what advice will you give to the youngins? It's a that choice. Are still man. trying to explore. It's a choice. So it's, it's just a choice. You know, it's like I said. Sometimes your choices ain't great choices. You know, you're, you're left with an avenue that sucks. No matter if you go left or you go right, one of them sucks harder than the other one. So but choose the, the one that doesn't suck so bad, you know? Yeah, but at the same time, I'm talking about 18, 19, 20-year-old men that is just trying to, you know, you 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 know how it is when you're that young. Like, you, yeah. you, you're trying to get some. Sometimes, you know, you know sometimes. I, I wasn't like that when well, I was okay. young. I wasn't oversexed. I wasn't totally sexually charged. You know, True, I, I'm I wanted in, it, but you know, hey. But in general, in general, you you know these young men, they are literally filled with fucking testosterone. What oh, kind yeah, of I advice know. will you give them? I'd give them you the know? same advice that I'd give a 50 year old or a 60 year old. You have to make the best choice for yourself. I can talk to you till I'm blue in the face. And if you don't want to do it, then it doesn't matter. I can show you verbatim. I can I can say to you and show you every pitfall, trap, and snare along the way. I can inform you of the laws. I can inform you that you're starting out 35 paces behind her in the game of life. I can tell you all of that, but if you don't want to do it, it doesn't matter. I'm not disagreeing with you, but what I'm saying is you know how difficult it is for that young man. Yes, I do. And that's why I also tell young men to control their biology. Hmm. How will they control their biology if you want to, you know, give some pointers right you now? You practice. It's just like anything else, man. Pra practice. I mean, what, what are the opportunities that you have, right? You get stupid ass horny and you don't want to go and bed down some potential fucking murderer or viper. You know, you don't want to do that. So that, what do they do? They resort to porn. Well, just control your porn use. I'm not advocating for it, but it's a better option than bedding down with somebody that has a legal gun pressed to your head. Right. So you know? throw away the porn because I would say throw throw it away completely. I wouldn't um, say throw it away completely. It does serve a purpose. It, it does. But at the same time, you know, a lot of folks would disagree still, with that. It, it, See, that, that's that's another conversation that we we can definitely have in the future because that's that's a good conversation we can have when it comes sure. to porn because there's there's it's a 50 50 when it comes to that that situation yeah i think it's there's just as much bad as there is good 
But men, I don't think that men would willingly choose to go the porn route if they could get with somebody that was not maniacal, that was not a schizo. Right. You see, you know, that, that, that old adage, there's somebody for everybody, that's not, not, not necessarily true. But can you find somebody if you've got a couple of 20s? Yeah. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, look, I'm not advocating for prostitution. What I'm saying is, is that your female population has gone fucking insane. <laughs> They've gone insane. So they're trying to close all of the avenues and root you right into their pussy, but at their choice, at their pace. And, and you've got nations of men that just ain't having it. They just ain't are having they, it no more. Are they like slowly trying to decriminalize that for the last couple of years? Decriminalize what? Uh, sex work. They're trying to decriminalize that. I think. You see, the fact the that you called it sex was, uh, work shows that they've succeeded. Well, yeah, yeah. No, what I'm what I'm saying is, since men are like, you know what, screw this shit, right? Uh, I think the latest one was uh, they decriminalize well, it for women. If you get busted as a John, you're still getting fined and sent home. That's right, New that's York good. and California. That's all right, fuck that then. But yeah, fuck that. I will say that the 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 the, the men going their own way or red pill, it, it <clears throat> you already know it's still going to spread. It's not going to stop. So I no, it, it's I not stopping. Believe, bro. I I do believe eventually if shit doesn't hit the fan, there will be more decriminalizing uh, in in the future. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, I discussed this with Chronic not that long ago, a few months ago. I said, look, if you want to if you want to drop all the pretense of this bullshit, it's easy to do. Just give hoes vouchers. Give men vouchers to go get hoes. It's only good for hoes. You can't buy smokes with it. You can't buy beer. You can't buy bud. But you can buy some pussy. Exactly. And then the women turn them in as a coupon, as a rebate. And I, f I feel bad for the young men for the for the near future because I was the one that had my fun before all this feminist Me Too craziness went like completely crazy, right? Yeah. So it's it's I, I'm I'm good if I don't get any for you know let's say a, a few months or whatever or hell worst comes to worst. <laughs> years but yo man the, the 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 future young men i unfortunately believe that they're going to have to be involuntary celibate because of the high expectations of the women of the future they're going uh, to have you know my you know my feelings on the whole incel involuntarily celibate thing all that is is a shaming tactic the, un the unfortunate part of it is, is that so many of these people out here that don't know shit about life and they don't know how they're being maneuvered, they buy into it. Well, you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm not saying that. Yeah, I got you, man. But we're, we're having that conversation where yeah. this terminology is being used and the terminology itself doesn't really make sense. It only well, makes sense because people believe it should. Yeah, even the people that use it don't know what the fuck it means, right? That's they correct. As a, you know, oh, you know, you don't get any bitches, you know. So, well, if but, you know, if that's what you judge people on, your criteria for judging people is woefully lacking. Oh, I completely agree because okay, see, this is why I say it, this will be a whole stream in the near future. Women are literally walking hypocrites, like double standards. Like they literally mean the opposite of fucking everything. And I will list every little thing that I can find of what women say, what they actually do. Yeah, okay? no, let, let me say something. When when you have a car that's malfunctioning, do you open the hood and stroke the car and try to whisper sweet nothings to it? Or do you take the defective part and get rid of that motherfucker and make your car work right? I'll take the defective part. And, that's and right. And you make your car work right. And that's what you do when you adopt the MGTOW philosophy. 
you are immediately sidestepping these psychopaths and you're fixated on yourself now and taking care of yourself and growing and being a better person for you. You're at the center of all of the choices that are made now, not them. You see, the other way that it works, the normal way, the blue pill way, they're at the center of the choices for you. You have to flip that shit. Oh, I completely agree. I've learned for years now, right? I know there's a few times that, you know, any woman that I interact with, right, if they try to call some bullshit or some type of nonsense, I just, I just walk away. I just ignore them. And they're completely powerless. Like they're like, oh, don't ignore me. How dare you? But as long as you ignore them or just straight up walk away, what else can they do? Well, and you know, they can be bitter, vengeful way. fucking cunts, is what they can be. But if you're if you're sitting there in a room full of witnesses and you got yes. 47 cameras pointed at you, they ain't got a, a leg to stand on. Yeah, that's the difference. Uh, there were there was witnesses in there. There was witnesses. Don't ever um, get caught alone with them, ever, ever. No, I do the Mike Pence rule. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I definitely, I'm like, you know what? You know, you're not worth my, see, chat, chat. See, you need to understand, you know, in my, you know, not that long of a life so far. As if, if, you, if you deal with a woman and you're not enticed by her box, there's not much else that she can do, really. Let's keep it real, because as a man, there's there's the main thing that we value is the box. And if you are able to say that, hey, the box is no big deal. What can what can she do? She can't do anything. Yeah, I agree with you, man. I agree with you 100 percent, bro. Man, it's always nice chatting with you, but I think uh, I got to go. Yeah, I see a bunch of people like, oh, Chronic just went live. Chronic went this. No, it, it ain't about that. It ain't about that. He asked me to go on there. That's fine. But uh, I kind of figured he would be doing that. So I wanted to be able to make myself available for it, too. Yeah, why not? Uh, if I have time, let me take a drink i'll join as well um, yeah man but you hey, had a hundred sets of fucking eyeballs in here again bro hey i did and i haven't streamed in like almost a month that's good that's good drink up hey, have man. a good time and all that good shit yeah and once again it's been a while since you we, we talked to each other and i definitely want you guys to come back chat and hammer hand because there is another topic that i didn't get to but Anytime in the future, if you're available, definitely let me know. Man, you uh, get them things uh, formatted and just holler at me. And if I have the time, I'll be happy to pop on. Oh, yeah. Too easy. But let's go ahead and see what Chronic is doing. All right, bro. All right, man. Peace out, Hammerhand. Peace out. Peace out, chat. Uh, much love to y'all. <laughs> Peace. Peace. <laughs> Uh, chat, go ahead and head over to Undead Chronics channel. I'm going to be doing the outro. This is Sirius. Hopefully, you enjoy the short stream. I enjoyed it. This was a great conversation. But we're going to go ahead and see what Chronic has to say. I am out. Peace.